Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out asking, Hey, how do you change the scale of an STL you bring into Tinkercad? I've got some steps, so let's get crack it. Friends, of course, the first thing is to get your STL. I'm going to assume you can figure that out. I'm going to hit create new design, and then, friends, I'm going to tell you, Designing your own stuff is way cooler than bringing in STLs because you have control of everything. When you bring in an STL, you've got to use holes to cut things away. It's a lot more work, and you've got to trust that the other designer made it the way they said they did. If they say it's one-tenth, you're trusting them. If they didn't actually do it in a one-tenth scale, which is what the user mentioned, well, then it's not going to be correct anyhow. But let me show you how to make this work. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a design. Now this is an STL I created. I can guarantee you it's not to scale, but we're going to pretend that it is one tenth scale. I'm going to just bring it in as an import and let me show you how I would scale this from one tenth to the one sixteenth or the one twenty fourth that the user was asking for. Friends, while I'm waiting for that import to happen, this is the car that I'm playing with. Once again, this is an absolute beginner tutorial. It shows you how to make a design, cut things out, align, arrange. It has so many skills in a 20 minute video. You'll be amazed. I'll make sure there's a link up above. But now if we switch back to the other Tinker Kit, it's almost finished importing that design. I'll bounce back to the real design. You can see here it is already loaded. Let's go back to the other one. You can see it is taking longer. For Tinkercad to take the STL and turn it into something we can play with, it takes a lot more effort on Tinkercad. So this is another reason why designing your own stuff is cool. Also, if I want to change something, I can get rid of one piece instantly by using hide, I can delete, I can adjust, you can change colors. There are so many more options when you've actually designed your own stuff. Now I'm only telling you this because we're still waiting for the STL to load because these do take more time. All right, friends, so as you can see, it is finally loaded. Friends, we are pretending this is a scale of one to 10. So friends, all I'm gonna do is look at this number 107 and I'm gonna do times 10 or 1070. So if I hold shift and stretch it out and type 1070, that is a full scale version of this car. If we hit zoom extents, you can see how large it is. Now the user said they wanted to go down to 1 16th or 1 24th. So what I'm gonna do friends is I'm gonna take the 1070 and using the calculator, I'm gonna divide it by 24. So I'm gonna make a 1 24th scale. So there's 1070 divided by 24 equals, and that means this number should be about 44.6. So I'm gonna hold shift, let go, type 44.6 and press enter. And then I'm gonna use fit view to zoom in on our new 1 24th scale design. Notice it's a lot tinier. That's because it used to be one centimeter equals 10 centimeters. Now it's one centimeter equals 24 centimeters. So that my friends is how I would use math and I would use the shift stretch to scale any STL to the exact size I wanted. Real quickly, I'm gonna add my name. This will be my car 1.24. And friends, I hope you found that useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have